The Chestatee River in Dahlonega, Georgia. Appalachian Outfitters River Trips. That's where we were today. What is up internet? Welcome back to the Danger Fish. Today I'm out here on the shore of the Chestatee River. We came up to the Appalachian Outfitters here. It's just a little bit south of Dahlonega, Georgia. We came up here today. I got the whole fam family here with me. I got my wife, I got my brother, I got his wife. We had a great time. We floated down. We started here at the beginning and uh, we went down to the end and that's where our vehicles were. We got loaded up. We only caught a couple of fish today. However, we still had a great time. We did meet other fishermen out that did catch fish. This guy, Joe. Joe obviously knows what he's doing out here on the Chesapeake River. He stood there and told us story after story about all the big fish that he catches over here. Now, we weren't so lucky today. However, we did have a good time, and that's what it's all about. $10, they'll give you a ride back to your vehicle down at the other end. 20 bucks if you want to rent a kayak. So come up here to Appalachian Outfitters in Dahlonega, Georgia. Rent a kayak or bring your own. So if a person comes up here and they want to uh, rent a kayak and go down, how much does that cost? Um, so single person kayaks are $28 and mm -hmm. your trip is going to be about two, two and a half hours. Uh, and then the tandems, the two person kayaks are a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. but you still get that two and a half hour trip. And then canoes are obviously a little bit more expensive. What if you have your own kayak? What can someone do? Can they come up here and uh, get a ride? Yeah, yeah, no, we definitely, we put in personals all the time. So normally what people will do, they'll just pay for our shuttle ride. Mm -hmm. So they'll drive, they'll drop off the boat here, and then we'll have them drive to the takeout, and then we will shuttle them back up here. So that way, when they're done with their trip, they have their boat and they have their car at the end. How much does it cost to do that? It's $10 for a shuttle ride. All right, $10 per person. $10 per vehicle. Per vehicle, okay. All right, well that sounds like a pretty good deal. That's what we did up here. We came up, we have our own kayaks. We floated down, we got a ride back. That looks a little more like, uh, yeah. They call me Dangerous Dane, not Crazy Dane. I wear my life vest. The Chesapeake River is rated as Class 1 Rapids. That's perfect for any beginner. Kids, old people, everybody in between, anybody can take this river. I wanted to show you what it's like to go down a typical section of the shoals when the water is about the level it was today. Yeah, he's better. He's better. Here we 
getting better. Uncle Dave's got the skunk off on us now. He's already caught him too like this. We've had to resort to uh, fishing with worms in order to get something to hit. But looks pretty good so far. First real fish. And he got off. He was numbing it, numbing it, numbing it. Well, it wasn't because it didn't look good. I'll give you the A on the presentation. <laughs> yes, sir, you do. <laughs> nice. You bassed up. There you go. Not bad. I didn't have to fish off there. That whopper popper, you get anything on that yet? All of them? That's top <laughs> waters, huh? It doesn't know it's middle of the daytime, it's hot. They like I that one. Doing plastic or something. Well, you win. You win for today. Just enough to keep you throwing it if you want to put it down because it's so far in between. But. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Way far in between. I got enough. I got enough to suffer for fish stock goes wherever I do, so can't complain. Anyway, we can stay all day, but we can't. He got him some though, didn't he? Huh. Nope, I just say no. <laughs> I got you some minnows. First thing this morning, I was catching a little showies. I swear it wasn't four inches long. Yeah? We fixed this waffle flopper like they was going to eat the whole thing. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Hang on a second. Hang on, I'm going to talk to this fella up here for a second. Hey, do you mind if I take a picture of your fish? Are you doing a channel or are you just a... Yeah, I have a kayak fishing channel on and um, I came up here to uh, get some footage. Well, even though we didn't catch anything today here on the Chesapeake River, somebody did. This man is kicking it over here. That was a beautiful fish. Thank you very much. You're welcome. What's that in the channel? Danger Fish TV. Danger Fish TV. Yep, there's a space in between the danger fish and the TV. That's where everybody goes wrong. <laughs> I will try to remember that. Look it up. You'll see one that says Chesapeake River. Y'all do a lot on Tennessee River or just wherever? Uh, all over Georgia, just places to go uh, kayak fishing. I think everybody makes a, makes a bunch of spots in there. There's a bunch of shoals in here too. Stripers. I got a, I caught a striper in the middle of August off top water. I mean, he was, oh, oh, oh. I was holding him up here against my chest and he was this long off top water. Wait a minute. Fish tails. How long was that thing? How long was that thing? How long was it again? Say it again. I got pictures. No, I want to see here. <laughs> that long. But uh, you see what I'm throwing out there on the big whopper flop. Y'all having now. fun yet? Yes, sir. How about y'all? Man in black. I got the big spinnerbait here. I see that. Yeah. Uh, the showies in here are outrageous. Uh, I've caught some good two, three, four pound showies out of here on this stretch. <laughs> hey. And uh, it just today's been slow. It started that, out kind of quick. Truth. It started out kind of quick this morning, and I swear I was catching like five, six inch shoals off of that.
first thing this morning. They were just knocking it and just eating it. And getting hung up on it? Yeah. <laughs> and then they Poor just, thing. everything just kind of quit. But we've been catching enough today that it's kept me throwing the top water. So. Well, I guess that's where I went wrong because I was definitely uh, throwing a, a plastic crawfish. Well, I got that yep. tied on just in case. Yeah. A little Ned rig. Go a little, go a little deeper. A, a little finesse deal. Nice. We won't keep them waiting too long. We've been at it for a while. Well, thank you. Y'all are welcome. What's your name? Joe. Hey, Joe. I'm Dane. Dane. That's my brother, David. And your brother, Dave. Dangerfish TV. Oh, my God. You might see your feet. You might see your feet. Dangerfish TV. Dangerfish TV. We'll have to look it up. Look it up. You might be able to look it under Chesapeake River, too. It'll take about a week for them to get on there. Have a good afternoon. So Joe must come up here pretty regularly. He's up here catching all kinds of fish and big fish on a regular basis here on the Chesapeake River. Have you had much luck with the crawdads? Sir? You have much luck with the crawdads? No. I caught one fish and saw it but got off right at the boat. And I didn't get a good look at it, but I am just going to go out on a limb and say it was a trout. It just looked trouty, long tube and, you know, but didn't get a good, good look at him. At the end, you just get out right here. They have the shuttle buses. Take the kayaks back, just pull up here, big parking lot. Appalachian Outfitters, owned and operated by Ben Lachance since 1980. 40 years of canoe, kayak, and tube trips on the Chesapeake and Etowah Rivers near the beautiful Gold Rush town of Dahlonega, Georgia. Or check them out on the web at www.canoegeorgia.com. After being on the river for about four hours, we were pretty hungry. So we went up to Dahlonega after our kayak fishing trip and visited one of the restaurants there, the Bourbon Street Grill. I had the fried chicken sandwich and I highly recommend it. After that, we went around and we needed some chocolate. So we visited Paul Thomas Chocolates and got us a big box and it was all wonderful. If you're ever in this area, be sure and check out the Appalachian Outfitters, kayak, canoe, and rafting, and the city of Dahlonega. Lots of stuff to do there. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Dangerous Dane. I'll see you next time on Danger Fish TV.